Thank you for joining us for our reflection on a lesson from the Daily Office Lectionary. My name is Deacon Maureen Demler, and I serve at St. George's Episcopal Church in Clifton Park, New York. Today is Monday in the week of the 23rd Sunday after Pentecost, proper 26, and the Feast of William Temple, Archbishop of Canterbury. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, it is only by your gift that your faithful people offer you true and laudable service. Grant that we may run without stumbling to obtain your heavenly promises through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our lesson is from the Revelation to John, the 10th chapter, beginning at the first verse. And I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, wrapped in a cloud, with a rainbow over his head. His face was like the sun, and his legs like pillars of fire. He held a little scroll open in his hand. Setting his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land, he gave a great shout like a lion roaring. And when he shouted, the seven thunders sounded. And when the seven thunders had sounded, I was about to write, but I heard a voice from heaven saying, seal up what the seven thunders have said and do not write it down. Then the angel whom I saw standing on the sea and the land raised his right hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and what is in it, the earth and what is in it, and the sea in what is, and what is in it. There will be no more delay, but in the days when the seventh angel is to blow his trumpet, the mystery of God will be fulfilled as he announced to his servants the prophets. Then the voice that I had heard from heaven spoke to me again, saying, Go, take the scroll that is open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went to the angel and told him to give me the little scroll, and he said to me, Take it and eat. It will be bitter to your stomach, but sweet as honey in your mouth. So I took the little scroll from the hand of the angel and ate it. It was sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I had eaten it, my stomach was made bitter. Then they said to me, You must prophesy again about many peoples and nations and languages and kings. Here ends the reading. John sees another mighty angel coming down from heaven, wrapped in a cloud with a rainbow or radiant halo over his head. When this angel speaks, seven thunders speak. This cycle of seven thunders was clearly witnessed by the writer, and he was about to write what he had heard when he was told, seal up what the seven thunders have said and do not write it down. The effect of this strange aside is to subtly remind John's audience that despite his readiness and willingness to reveal all that he has seen and heard, he knows more than he can reveal, a fact that can only enhance his authority among the congregations. The angel is holding a little scroll open in his hand, and John is told to take it and eat a way of saying that he is to read, mark, and inwardly digest, even as we still speak of devouring a book, meaning that we read it with eagerness. This scroll, now unrolled and thus open, cannot help but recall the sealed scroll whose seals the Lamb had broken, and thus would be now stand open. 
This device contributes to the unity of John's visions. The commissioning scene here is patterned after Ezekiel's commission, in which he was given a scroll to eat by an angel, a scroll that proves sweet as honey in his mouth. John's prophetic message, however, is decidedly more mixed. While it will be as sweet as honey in his mouth, it will turn his stomach, signifying that it is sweet to him to receive God's message but that its wrath and judgment fill him with sorrow. Having assimilated the contents of the little scroll, John is commanded to make them known by prophesying about many peoples and nations and languages and kings. Let us pray. O God of light and love, you illumined your church through the witness of your servant William Temple, Inspire us, we pray, by his teaching and example, that we may rejoice with courage, confidence, and faith in the word made flesh, and may be led to establish that city which has justice for its foundation and love for its law. Through Jesus Christ, the light of the world, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Join us every weekday for our reflection. If you live in the Clifton Park area, join us for worship at 4.30 on Saturdays or 8 or 9.30 on Sunday mornings. If you are unable to join us in person, join us virtually through our YouTube channel. Our webpage provides recordings and details about all of our offerings. Thank you.